Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I practice my stroke and some 10 ball practice with the head cam. And first I'll show you where I am above the pool hall for 40 seconds. Pacific Ocean, Bay of Ensenada, Todos Santos Island, where the Great White Shark Sanctuary is and the amazing surfing where my good friend Jimmy Sweeney almost died when he was 22. He got pulled under while surfing and didn't think he was going to make it back up. Thought he was dead. And miraculously, where many others had died, he was able to make it back to the surface and live. All right, welcome back. Hey, if you like that hat, I'm going to have some available here real soon. You can join my mailing list at maxeverly.com. And we're going to get right into practice. So it's cool to have the head cam so you can see what I'm doing here directly. And really, I'm just working on my backswing, coming back nice and smooth and slow, and then following through on the straight in shot. And here, this is really important. If you can do this, practice your stroke without actually hitting the cue ball, you're going to improve your game a lot faster. It's actually, it's like a free way to improve your game maybe a hundred times faster than you would if you don't do that. I see a lot of players are always working on the, the game. They're always hitting balls and stuff. But I almost never see them actually working on their stroke independent of hitting a cue ball. And it's just gonna help you, uh, give you a lot more confidence. See, because what happens is, you know, I've given so many lessons, thousands and thousands and thousands of lessons over the last 30 plus years, that I know that when players when they go to hit the cue ball oftentimes their stroke changes drastically compared to when they do their stroke with no cue ball so what you want to do is practice with no cue ball and then tell yourself okay I'm going to bring that same exact stroke focus on the actual feeling and the motion that you did without the cue ball and tell yourself to do the same motion when you hit the cue ball either again I'm working on my stroke uh, there you know once in a while you'll see another pro I know John Mora does that if you see him he'll be working on his stroke and you want to do it on a line like on where that cloth meets the rail up on the rail over there you can use that as a line or sometimes there'll be a black line in the table you can practice your stroke on make sure you're following through straight Okay, and you just try to deliver that same stroke. Here it is again. See, so keep your bridge tight, follow through, go straight, because we or players have the tendency to turn the cue a little bit during the final stroke, and that can lead to misses. I mean, it can happen. So what you want to do is just really ingrain in your game that you're hitting the ball straight, that you're stroking the cue straight, and that's going to lead to a straight stroke. Okay, now here... Just practicing some 10 ball and that was the two ball nice long shot on the two now here all i got to do is creep over behind that seven leave an angle for the six like that come off the rail nice and smooth looks like uh again the table's pretty fast there's always a, a little adjustment period to the speed of a table we don't always play perfect anyway we're not always landing on the exact spot but you should be trying to land your cue ball on an exact spot, I think, because that way you're really going to fast, fastly improve your speed control for your game. Because if you don't know the exact spot you're going to, then how will you know it when you got there? When you attained good position, how good was it really? Because if you didn't know the exact spot, then how will you ever know how good that position was, right? And, and uh, it'll just be more difficult for you to gauge the speed of a table in the same amount of time that, for instance, that I'll be able to do it because I'll adjust so quickly because I'm going for that exact spot right away on every table that I play on. And therefore I get the speed of the table down really fast. And I'm so used to doing it for the last 40 years, trying to get to an exact spot that it's just the way that I play. So it'll give you an advantage over pretty much the whole world is once you can control that cue ball. Um, I don't, I don't care who it is. 
just line up all the world champions. And if you can control the cue ball better than them, then you're going to win a lot of those matches that you play. Um, I think I've beaten 19 world champions so far. And there's nothing, there's no reason saying that you can't do it either. It's, uh, it's not about the other guy. It's about you. It's how you play. If you control the cue ball, you work on your stroke, on your aiming, on your shot making, keeping still, playing good strategy. I mean, there's a lot of components of the game, but that stroke is a big one and controlling the cue ball is big. Of course, work on your shot making. Uh, but the shot making improves when you have a really consistent stroke. So I think that's one thing that top players do is they, they constantly work on their stroke because that's their bread and butter, right? You're not just going to make the balls out of willpower with your mind. You actually have to have a good straight stroke. Kind of like you're building a pool shooting machine and you're the machine. And it's, it's really your job to line up the machine. That would be the aiming part. But then if you can't deliver that stroke, then the aim really doesn't matter, right? So it's not really so much about the aiming systems. And you learn how to aim. I've got like 12 different aiming systems in ProPoolAcademy.com that you can check out. And uh, they all work. And you can combine several of them or can use somebody else's or don't use any. But the main thing is you, you got to get a feeling of how the balls line up, how much they overlap each other. Or just try to hit the contact point knowing that the cue ball is round. I call that the see the contact point, hit the contact point method. But you have to know that the cue ball is round in order to do that because you don't aim directly at the contact point. Um, so get a handle on your aiming. Work on your stroke. Make sure your bridge is real solid. Work on that backswing, the timing from your backswing to the forward stroke. That's one thing I've really worked on. Even at this stage in my career, I'm 49. The last couple of years, I've really worked a lot on my backswing, my timing from the backswing into the forward stroke. And uh, I found that it's been very helpful. Now, check this out. See, because this is power stroke. So almost every student, when, when they do a power stroke, their bridge comes apart. Notice how my bridge doesn't come apart. So what I want you to do is do exactly what I did there. See how solid you can get your bridge. And then when you do a power stroke, like 100% speed, like you're trying to make the biggest eight ball break in the world, do it to where you can do that stroke, but your bridge doesn't move or come apart. And just watch how good you get. Just watch how much more solid you are. It's not just a mental game. It's a physical game also. You got to be really strong mentally and strong physically. Um, if you want to have all your bases covered. All right. Well, uh, trying this cut shot basically with center ball, power stroke. I'm just doing the same stroke that I was working on there just a minute ago with no cue ball. So remember, try this when you get to the table next time. I will get back into some 10 ball. And that's what I like to do. I'll, make, I'll play some nine ball or 10 ball or straight pool. And then I'll work on my stroke. And then I'll play some more games. And then I'll work on my stroke some more. Just to reinforce that what I'm doing is correct. And to improve it. And, it, and the game just becomes more and more easy the more you work on your, your stroke and your aim. And, and really simplify it. If you can make everything with center ball with a good powerful stroke and a solid bridge, that's a great place to be because then when you use spin, you know how much you're adjusting off the center and you won't actually need as much spin because you're always, you're always making your object ball and keeping good angles. And then when you do use spin, maybe it's a little bit of helping English, a little bit, half a tip of right, half a tip of left, just so the cue ball slides nicely off the object ball. It reduces your chance of getting a skid when you put a little bit of outside English, like here, a little bit of high right, the ball is going to flow nice and smooth off the side of that nine. Come right over here. We're a good shot on the 10. And it's really that important. You'll just find out how much better you get if you do this every day. That should really be your main focus if you've only been playing for a few months or a couple years or even five or 10 years, because 
believe it, all these other top players, they're working on their stroke and they're staying in good shape and they're coordinated and all that. So if you're going to compete with that and win against that, you better stay on top of your game and stay on top of what you're doing. Right? So you're like a pool shooting machine. That's the whole idea. Of course, you're a human being. You have emotions. Uh, everybody wants to win. You got to got to learn how to control your emotions, stay focused on what you're doing. Be a little little bit lizard like, like cold blooded. Um, I think but mainly focus concentration. Try to focus on your game and what you're doing. And uh, remember what my grandpa said. He said everybody puts their pants on one leg at a time. So don't be intimidated by a great player if you have to play one. Um, so if you like this video, I'm going to put a link right up here on the screen to another video similar to this. And you can watch that next. And also make sure you check out ProPoolAcademy.com where you can get all my videos on one website for lifetime access. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Take your pool game to the next level with my online membership course, ProPoolAcademy.com. There's over 33 hours of game knowledge with 16 modules, 140 video lesson sections, and thousands of pool tips with more being added every month. To sign up and to order my books and DVDs in the mail, click the links in the description below this video now. Like